In this plugin killer video, we are going to remove our PDF embed plugins from our WordPress site. If you use this one right here, it has 20,000 installs. If you use this one right here, it has 10,000 plus installs. If you use this one right here, it has 300,000 plus installs. And now you don't need any of those anymore because we're gonna embed our PDFs just with WordPress Gutenberg. This is how it looks right here. I'm gonna go through all the use cases and all the buttons and all that in this tutorial. And this is part of the plugin killer series where I have a whole playlist of ways you can remove plugins from your site by using either simple bits of code or just WordPress itself. So if you wanna get rid of plugins on your site, check out that playlist. It's linked to in the description down below. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. I try to answer the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab. We will help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. To embed a PDF on a page in your WordPress site, all you need is Gutenberg. You can actually just go to posts and add new or go to any existing post. I'm just gonna give this one a title. It's called PDF download. Add a block, search for file. If you don't see it on the first six. And this is it right here. And now we can upload a file. Let's click on upload. And the file doesn't have to be a PDF, but in this case it is. This is my 11 point security checklist for WordPress. You can actually pick up this PDF at the end of this video. There'll be a link that pops up on the screen if you're on desktop. If you're on mobile, then watch on desktop and you'll see it on the end screen. Anyway, here is the built-in embed for PDFs on WordPress. And it's pretty legit. People can scroll through the whole thing. Pretty awesome stuff. You can download by clicking this button here. Actually, you know what? I'll just publish this and we'll look at it on the front end because then we'll see it live and in person as someone would who's visiting your site. So here's the download button. You can scroll through it again like I was scrolling a moment ago. You can zoom out. You can zoom in. You can fast forward to whatever page you want. You can download it. It opens up a dialog box for your visitors so they can download. You can print it. You can do a two-page view. Have to zoom out for the two-page view but then they can see two pages at once. I prefer the one page. You can have annotations if you have those in your PDF document. If you don't, those won't show up. You can present, which I believe means full screen. There's document properties. This gives you information about the checklist and you can rotate it. This is only for this instance. This wouldn't be rotated for everybody who visits the site, just this one user viewing the PDF. You can have it fit the screen vertically, fit the screen horizontally. And let's see, you can get the, make the menu go away on the left here, the list of pages. You can also click these to go to those specific pages. And lastly, you can click on the link here or download to download the PDF, which does the same thing as this button here. Previously, when you embedded a PDF in WordPress, all you'd get would be this download link. And you need to get fancy plugins to do something cool like this. But most PDF viewers that you get for your WordPress site are not as good as the Gutenberg one. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. The downside is you can't restrict it, but you can make the page private and you can also use a membership plugin to have this page available only to specific membership levels. I've got a tutorial for making pages private and for the memberships, linked to in the card above and the description down below if you wanna see those. And the private is really easy. I'll show you really quick. The um, making the membership levels is a bit more complicated, involves more plugins, but making it private just means switching the visibility right here to private, which means only admins and editors can see it if it's some kind of internal PDF for your team, or you can also password protect it. You enter the password right here, then you copy this password, you update the page, and then only people with that password will be able to view this page. I'm an admin, so it should pop up, no problem. Nope, it doesn't, even for the admin, it's locked. Let's paste in the password, click enter, and then we see this page. Keep in mind, you can only have one password for this page. You can't have a different password for every user. If you want a more robust solution for locking down your PDF and making it accessible only to specific people, then you have to use a membership site plugin like I show you in the card up above or the description down below. So check out those links. And also if you use page builders like Elementor, for example, this content, this PDF is in a post. So it's just like a regular post. Let's go back to edit post here. 
and you can add your written content above and below and the PDF can just be part of your post. And then that will be published into your Elementor template for posts. This is different than pages where you go ahead and design with Elementor. Generally for posts, you don't do that. For posts, you create a template using Elementor. Then your post data, whether you build it in Gutenberg or the classic editor, would be put into those posts dynamically when someone visits them. If that doesn't make a lot of sense, check out the tutorial in the card up above and the description down below where I go into detail on Elementor posts and how templates work with them. It's a little bit confusing. So if you're not totally clear on that, check out that tutorial. Either way, what I'm saying is that this PDF embed also works inside of page builders when your content is put into templates created by those page builders. This specific method of embedding would not work if you were to make a page with page builders exclusively, like the home page or the contact page, or whenever you click on edit with Elementor to edit this specific page, you wouldn't be able to use the embed. It just works with the templates created by page builders. Next up, check out the plugin killer playlist right here where I show you how to remove plugins from your site using simple pieces of code or built-in functions inside of WordPress. So check that out if you want to reduce the plugin load on your website. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't waste any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.